Welcome back and make sure you watch this entire video for an absolutely free breakdown Saturday college football NCAA. Wow, guys, um, we are 30 and eight in our last 38 games. We're four, uh, I'm sorry, three and one on the week so far with a game pending tonight. Six and two last week. Six and two the week before that. Seven and one the week before that. Five and two the week before that on free games. All you have to do to get these games is be a fan, be a subscriber, whatever. Technically, you don't even have to subscribe, but we would really appreciate it if you did. We would appreciate it even more if you hit that like button. And we appreciate you the most if you hit the comments, comment section. I'm going to give some shout outs to the comment section. <clears throat> All right. JD, John Anderson, Gloria K. Sorry, Gloria K. about that, about that, uh, about that um, Mac Jones bet. I love Mac Jones, but he didn't come up with the yards. And Mike Smith, that wasn't my bet, Mike. Don't put that on me. Don't put that on me. Um, I was just telling her I like to play. Good luck. That doesn't mean it's my player. I'm betting it. So anyway, Paul K, shout out. Your comment, Paul K, was one of the best comments that I've had. It really hit it right here. And you too, Mike Smith, even though I love you, man. I really do. Thick and thin. I love it. Alfredo Garcia, welcome to the page. Leonard Ferreira, welcome to the page. Jaden Nethery, I already shout out you out. I've been waiting for this shout out. Old man. I love your name. Welcome to the page. All the rest, Greg Myers, Zoni NorCal, and the rest of you. Um, and I'm going to say it again. I said it yesterday. I'm going to say it again today. Where is KJ Philly Five Teamer? We owe you a shirt. We need your mailing address so we can mail you a shirt. KJ Philly Five Teamer, where are you? We're waiting for you. Anyway, back to the games. We're going to be breaking down two games. <clears throat> and I don't know which one I'm more excited about. We're doing some middle-of-the-country action, Iowa State versus Oklahoma, and then we're doing my favorite conference, the SEC, which I have been absolutely crushing this year. Um, so we're going to have two games for you. And we're also going to be buying the hook on one of these games. Buy the hook, buy the hook, buy the hook. Let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, guys, Remember, I missed one thing. Turn the notifications on because when, when football's over and we're just dropping hockey and basketball, it's going to be like four or five hours before sometimes. So we don't want you to miss anything. Let's dig into these games. First, we have a nooner, a noon game. We love noon games, but we also hate them. I don't know. I like middle of the day games. They're my favorite. But... Oklahoma is favored in this game by three and a half. The total is set at 60. Iowa State comes into this matchup six and four. They lost a very tough one last week to Texas Tech. They had been ranked in the top 25, but their season was derailed when they lost two in a row or two of their last three. I'm sorry. Brock Purdy, senior quarterback. Slow and shaky start, looking better as of late. He's completed 73% of his passes, 2,400 yards, 15 touchdowns, six picks, decent numbers. Now, turning the ball over in the beginning of the season was a big problem. He had a five-game stretch with no picks after that until having one pick last week by Texas Tech Red Raiders. Now, they have a solid run game also, 169 yards a game. But the majority of that success is coming on the back of their defense. They're giving up 323 total yards per game, 194 through the air, 113 on the ground. They're holding teams to 20.5 points per game. Those are scary defensive numbers. The Sooners, they need to bounce back. They were undefeated before they lost to Baylor last week. Looked questionable. It's been a very interesting season for them. Spencer Rattler was supposed to be a... Heisman Trophy winner. Since that, he got benched, guys. Caleb Williams is freshman quarterback. Questionable games, shaky QB play, and now the freshman's in, 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 in form. Now, Williams has thrown 14 touchdowns, three interceptions, compared to 11 touchdowns and five interceptions for Rattler. Now, some of Williams' inexperience came out last week in a very tough game against Baylor. It was scary for them, and we didn't like what we saw there when it came to Oklahoma. Now, 
They do have an explosive offense. They're averaging 477 yards a game. They're putting up 40 points a contest. Explosions. <clears throat> They're also having solid defense, holding teams to 24.5 points per game. But if they could improve their pass defense, they would get that number down even lower, and they can't seem to keep those passing yards down. Both of these teams have faced close games. Caleb Williams has been great so far, but he struggled last week. And this Iowa State defense is one of the best in the nation. They've covered five of their last six spreads against Oklahoma. Guys, I like them to cover in this one. I like that defense to really scare, really, really scare this young freshman quarterback by the half point, up to four, take Iowa State plus four by the hook, by the hook, by the hook. And stay tuned. We have one more game. Next up. We have a 7 p.m. game, SEC. You know, guys, we've been over 85% in the SEC this year. Auburn versus the South Carolina Gamecocks. Auburn seven and a half point favorites. The total is set at 44 and a half. Auburn six and four on the year, but they're playing without their stud Bo Nix, who you know that I like. That he has an injury, but T.J. Finley's taking over the reins. He's completed 52% of his passes on the season. He's thrown for 275 yards, two touchdowns, looking decent. Now, Auburn's run game is insane. They got Tank Bisbee and Jacquez Hunter. Now the numbers on that are 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns, averaging over six yards per carry. Their defense gives up 386 yards, but only 22.1 a game. That's solid. Now, on the other side of the ball, South Carolina has quarterback struggles. They're on their third string quarterback. Unfortunately, man, I don't know. They don't have the run game as Auburn. They can't rely on that. They're averaging 128 on the ground, 205 in the air. 23.5 points a game is all they're putting up. Their defense has given up less total yards a game than Auburn, but they're giving up more points. They're really not doing it. In the red zone, they're giving up 24.4 points per game. So it's not much higher, but it is higher. You give me the run game of Auburn, I think it's going to tear down the spotty South Carolina run defense. They're going to have to rely on a third-string quarterback. It's going to be tough. They're going to keep the defense on the field. Auburn has covered five of their last seven spreads against South Carolina. I expect this one to be a multiple touchdown victory. By the hook, by the hook, by the hook. Buy it to seven for assurance. And lock it in. Guys, bring the subscriptions, the notifications, the likes, and the comments. We appreciate it when you do. And if you do, I promise you I'll give you a shout out. And listen, guys, remember, we are winning like maniacs right now. Don't get crazy with these games. Bet them steady because eventually we will have a losing week. And I don't want you to blow your whole load that week. So keep the plays steady. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow where I will be breaking down Sunday NFL football.